Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video we will be detecting corners in an image using OpenCV and Python. So basically just like all the other videos that I have made, I start by importing the important libraries like CV2, NumPy and Matplotlib which will help us in processing the image and displaying the image. So I run this part of code and secondly I load the image that I will be processing on. So and I will convert the image to a grayscale image because this uh, particular corner detection technique requires the image to be in a grayscale format. So I load the image and I convert it to a grayscale format from BGR format and as if you are following my previous videos OpenCV uh, function imread by default reads the image in a BGR format. So I use the convert color function, uh, convert color function and I convert it from BGR format to grayscale format. So I run this part of code and I will display the original image. So this is the original image that I, I previously used in the color detection technique. So I will try to detect the corners, this particular corner, this corner, this corner and various other corners that will be detected using the Harris corner detection technique. So I convert the original image to a numpy array. Yeah, that is a requirement that we have to do. And next I use the corner Harris function which will actually detect the corners. So the first parameter is the grayscale image and not the grayscale image but the numpy array of the grayscale image. The second parameter is the surrounding pixels, the number of pixels the surrounding pixels that need to be considered. The third parameter is the Sobel derivatives aperture and the fourth parameter is Harris detection free parameter. So there is lot, lot and lot of math involved in it but that is not a part of this particular video. But I will definitely make another video about the mathematical part behind this particular function. So subscribe to my channel in order to get notified whenever that video comes out. So I run this part of code which will detect the corners and I display the particular output that we get. So if you just increase the brightness of your either laptop or your mobile phone or computer then you will be able to identify there are a few bright spots here. This is a bright spot. This is a bright spot. This is a bright spot. These are the corners and, and there are corners in these letters as well. The alphabets, if you see the yellow, red, green, white, there are corners. The corners do exist there as well. So it detected even those corners. So this is how the Harris corner detection works. But we want to, we don't want this sort of output. We want a better output. So what we do is we mention a threshold. So if the pixel value is greater than that threshold, then the pixel will get a particular color. So since this is a grayscale image, I give the pixel a, a color of 0.5, which will be very much equal to black. This particular part of code checks the threshold and gives assigns it a different color. So I run this part of code and finally I display the uh, image where the corners are detected and if you see there are a few black spots which identify or indicate the that it is an edge so this was an example of a proper there are, there are proper edges in this in this image but now let us let me take a different example now instead of this particular I'll take another example view I'll take an example of the bottle spelling wrong. Okay, so I'll take an example of a water bottle here. You might have seen this example in blurring techniques and in edge detection. So that the same that, that is the same image that I'm taking once again. So you can see this is the bottle that I am taking an example of, and I'll see what sort of corners are detected by the corner detection technique. So and next I run this part of code. The all the hyperparameters are same that we used for the 
previous example the example of this particular this particular example the color grid example and i display okay so you can see small if you increase the brightness there are small spots here and once again i the threshold value and i display the image but uh, if you just i'll just zoom in here there are too many black spots if you can see properly there are too many black spots that have been detected or too many corners have been detected so in order to but i don't think those are actually corners so in order to filter that out we will have to make some changes in the hyper parameters depending on the different images but in order to automate this adjustment of hyper parameters you will have to take help of neural networks which will uh, help you do that but since this is not a part of a niche since this is not a tutorial about neural network i will change the hyper parameters manually by myself so let's take the surrounding pixel values to be let's take 50 and i'll take the second parameter that is the sobel derivative aperture parameter to be 9 and i'll the finally the harris detector parameter will be i'll take it as let's say let's take 0.1 and i'll run this whole notebook once again and i'll see what sort of output do i get i hope i'll get a better output this time okay so this these these are the bright spots uh, there, there are few bright spots here which will actually translate to corners uh, these bright spots will become darker so so as i said uh, those bright spots became darker and were identified as corners and as you can see logically visually if you can see this was this actually is a corner this is a corner this even this is a corner even this is a corner but this is not exactly a corner because this is slightly curved so the corner detector did not exactly detect is a detect it as a corner so this was a basic tutorial about corner detection so i hope you like the video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching